Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at the Mice Cube Mousetrap. They say it's the only mousetrap you'll ever use. It's safe, clean, silent, reusable, humane, easy to use, and it works, and it will not harm children or pets. All of that sounds really good, so let's take it out of the box and see how this works. So as far as mouse traps go, this probably wins the award for the most simple design, fewest moving parts. It's simply a rectangle plastic box here, and in the front has a door on a hinge that goes up and down. That door does have some holes there for the mouse to smell the bait inside. But what the directions say is place a little peanut butter on a cracker, place it on the far end of the trap, and the idea is the mouse will come along, smell that, want to go in, so it pulls itself in like that, lifts up the door, and as it goes through, it will close. And uh, gravity is the only thing that closes that door. There's no springs, nothing. Just a plastic door on a hinge, and uh, they say it's a great trap. I really want to test this out, see if it works. And they say to release it, all you have to do is turn it upside down like that. The door opens, and you can let them go outside. Well look there, that mouse went right into that trap and it's caught. That door worked well even though it's just gravity, there's no spring. The mouse went right in and we got him. To release it, all you have to do is turn this upside down and he can run out. You can put that out in the wild. Very simple to use, very easy and it's effective. The mice go right in. It's a pretty good trap. Now this was a mouse that I had in a cage just to show you how the trap works. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see how it actually works with wild mice. I'm out here in the barn. We tested out our Mice Cube Humane Mouse Trap last night and look, we got a mouse. So we have the exact same results as with our pet mice. The wild mouse really tried to get that bait and the only difference was it was a little slower to go in. It played with the door a little more, but eventually it couldn't resist that peanut butter, went in and we caught it. Now one thing that I see is that it's pretty stressed. It's uh, pretty humid in there. There's condensation from it breathing on the sides. There's not a lot of ventilation. So it's furs all wet. But other than that, it looks like it's in good shape. So make sure if you use this trap, you're gonna wanna check it frequently or the animal's gonna get stressed and die in there. And to release this, it's really simple. All you have to do is turn that upside down like that, push the door, and the mouse is now free to run loose and go out into the wild. You're free, little guy. And there he goes. So the Mice Cube Mousetrap wins the award for the most simple design, just a box with a door and a hinge. Really very few moving parts, very few things to go wrong. And it works great on pet mice and wild mice, a proven design.